Now here's a very quick macro recap, right? We've been talking about trading ranges and this is really important. If you can't see the importance of this, I have to re-emphasize it again and again, right? We'll realize that we have been trading within ranges and it's always the bulls or the bears that's trying to push us through range. And most of the time, what truly pushes us out of the range is a major catalyst and in this case here we had the FOMC which provided very clear guidance at least up till the next catalyst event which is the CPI report that is next Wednesday. So this FOMC meeting provided good guidance that brought us out and into this new range that we are trading in currently. Now at this range here, I mentioned how we were previously in a congested zone and it takes time for the bulls to build momentum and strength if they want to push us out of this range here. And you can see that there is difficulty because we have been flagging in this area for about four days now. So if you see this particular time here like this, this new range that we're trading in, and you think this is a bull run, uh, you will be in for a rude, rude surprise. Now, this is just a congested zone here. And just for your information, if you take a look at this, this was before a CPI report release as well. This was a CPI report leak right here. Look, the market had no idea where to go. Do you see a similarity now? FOMC can only provide as much guidance as we can until the next CPI report because this was how Powell kicked the can down the road and said that we had to depend on the next CPI report to see how we're going to move along. So while this is bullish then, we came to a point where there was a trading range here which we knew there was going to be difficulty. So we actually knew where this rally could find some struggle. And this is where I mentioned this was the congested zone and we would have some struggle here. And SPY indeed had been flagging here for four days with some sort of struggle. Now I will address this green candle later, so don't worry. But what's important now as a day trader is this, you need to know how to extract value from the market. And you can't do that if you don't have market context. If you're just thinking it's going to be one direction up or one direction down, you are never going to be making enough money. Because take a look, this is the past four days, right? We've just been trading up and down, up and down, up and down. So if you made a fortune back then when we had the strongest bull rally of our lives here, right? You cannot be holding on to that sort of mentality anymore when we are trading in such a volatile market now. Because that is a once in a lifetime occurrence right now what we need to do is to know how to extract value from the market so don't be discouraged i'm here to help now there's a million ways to be making money off this market but guess what there are two million ways to be losing so learn it the right way and yesterday i broke down some of the possible trades that we could be taking i provided the link to the live analysis then so it can help you see better right you just have to click on it you can see my life analysis back then so i really hope that this can help you to identify and know how to put in a trade now we don't want to be hoping right especially yesterday just want to bring this up now, if you're if we're at the top of the range you don't want to just be taking puts and hoping that you will go all the way down now that's just hope you need to understand what are the possible imbalances and how do we take partial profits to protect the trade and leave the rest stress-free now, not hope, but stress-free. It's very different. You take your partial profits and you have a runner that's left to do its job if the market permits us to go down. So if I provided all these analysis here, it's always a way to make money. As I said, there are a million ways to make money. So if you learn how to identify where to be taking money from, right? So all these areas are areas that you can be taking money from. And like what I always say, just log in, take your profits, call it a day, enjoy your day, right? Every day, day in, day out, the market is there for us to take money. If you develop this day's trading skill to be able to identify all these, you can just log in, literally log in, collect your check and call it a day and enjoy your day. Now, that's what we want to be doing here. Right. So yesterday, we swung some puts for queues. I mentioned in a Discord server. Why? Because we are at the top of the range. Now, I want to explain a little bit about this trade first. Now, firstly, I want you to take a look at this. Now, this 
is a very weak area for the queues right here. Very, very weak. So if this heads down, this will be very quickly all the way down, at least back to this 317. So when we take puts at the top of this buying channel range here, right, that's the risk reward that we want to be taking, right? We probably can take some partial profits here so we can protect our trade at least up to this end of the buying channel and also with the plan that they can go one way down very quickly as well. I will take a look at the queues and the daily chart. Uh, what I, this is what I want to talk about. Now the queues have broke through this congestion area quite some time ago, as I mentioned, uh, because of the 53 billion chips act uh, that was last week. Right, so we broke through that quite simply because of the catalyst that provided the liquidity here. But you see that we have just sprouted out yesterday, right? So this is the top of the buying channel as we charted it in our 30 minute chart right here and there is some weakness here now you can imagine this is the head and you have a very weak neck so this can be very easily pushed back if there is no substantial reason for a rally like this right so these are things that we have to be looking out for and we can take more measured trades like this so if you took the trade here with me right this is the risk that we're risking right and we have this partial profits here right up to this point where you can protect your trade, this is still a one is to two risk reward. And you leave your runner to a possible one is to four risk to reward. Now it's worth the risk, right? So sometimes trades like this, you just have to take it. You don't have to be 100% right, but you take a calculated risk here because you see some weakness here. And we take a look at the dailies. If this is truly an upsprout, because you see a very strong left shoulder here with this top wicks here. Now, if this truly does not sustain, what's going to happen is that it's going to form a right shoulder and this will be very very protected area for us so imagine you took puts here right at the top this will be a protected area for us that we may hit down and this is if there is no sustained catalyst or reason for the chart to stay up here and so the question is is there truly a sustained reason for us to stay up as i mentioned we had a congested area here so we shall see how this goes whether this will continue to push now this was before CPI report back then, right? So you see some similarities here and the market is unsure. But as I mentioned, we're still in a buying channel like this. So if you identify your trading ranges, you can see them much clearly, much better. You can identify some of the very key and secondary support levels and resistance levels, which we are going to talk about later when we day trade. Now, yesterday, what we wanted to look out for failed, right? Because it broke through this selling channel out of here. And you see we had a very strong support that pushed us out from there. Now, if you take a look yesterday at a five minute chart, this is just perfect, isn't it? It's a double bottom right here, perfect. And we have two hammerhead dojis, perfect reversal pattern. So I've included all of this in the analysis here. So you can just take a look for yourself and be able to identify all the important ways to trade. Now there's some trades that are better than others and I indicated there as well. Right, not all trades are created equal. You need to know where to take your profits for some of the trades, where the balances are balanced out. And we can't be hoping for every trade to be a home run. So always remember that and always look to protect your trade as much as possible. Now for today, if you swung the puts for cues, just as I did, now if we hit this area at 321, take your partial profits. Take some more partial profits here at 320. Right, and of course our target is 317, third profit here if you can, and if not, and leave one or two runners for all the way down, if we do head down, if you have enough day to expiry as well. But most importantly here is quite a simple area for us to take partial profits to protect your trade immediately. Right, what we want to be looking out for is some weakness here, and for it to head straight down, right, so that we know that this is some kind of upsprout, and we will return back to some sort of balance here. Now, is this sustainable? We will find out today, right? Whether there is a sustained catalyst or this is just a one-time boost and we will be back in the usual trading range here, right? For SPY as well, what we want to be seeing is whether we maintain this range here, right? Previously, we mentioned 414, 413, right? And it's maintained because we were brought back near the end of the day, back under this 414 orange here. We want to see this 414 orange stays that way. Now use the 30 minute trend line chart to explain. Right here, if we do continue to head down here, then we may find some support at this level between 412 and 413 here, right? 
So first things first, we want to see if we are trading below this 414 orange, right? So we know that this is an upsprout, just like the queues, we know that this is an upsprout. And we want to see if this is also sustained. Now, easy way up, it will be easy way down if it's not sustained. So that's something we want to be looking out for as well. However, there will be some support here for 12413. So you can be looking to take some calls here at this zone here. Now, if we do open below orange, this is a possible area for us to be taking puts. Calls here between 412, 413, this zone right here, that we do continue to head down, this pink is very strong support, right? So we want to be looking out for that as well, right? So this is the possible setups. Now, if we do continue to rally, you noticed here, right? We are adhering to some sort of buying channel. As I mentioned, we have a buying channel. So if we do start to continue rallying, it's possible that we can base off this buying channel here just perfectly right between this 412, 413 support. So here may be a very good place to be taking calls if we do revisit down. We want to see uh, some sort of retracement here. Now, we want to see if the buyers have the strength to break through this orange if we do open below this. Now, what if we open above orange? Now, not too excited yet because there is very strong resistance at this top level here. Now, we could be basing here if we start basing off here. Now, we could also form an inverse cup and handle. So, we want to see the price action. How long does the chart remain here? That's if we start chopping right at the start of the day. I think that's highly unlikely. But you notice that this is not a very good bull flag, right? You see a bullish run, but this is not a good bull flag. Why is this not a good bull flag? Although we do have a very strong support here. Now, that's only if we open up above it. Now, if we open above orange, there will be resistances here quite early on. So we want to be looking at this, whether this continues. This is not a very good bull flag. All right, this is actually not good. This will be bringing us down. So which is why I suggested a possibility of an inverse cup and handle if we maintain it like this. Because the more sellers you bring from a higher price, the more they're going to break through this support area. So a few things to look out for first today. Now, if we open below orange, we want to see if this is an upsprout here, uh, puts here maybe, right? And there will be some strong support level here, at least up till 414. So you can maybe expect a one to two point move here. That's what I'm thinking. And whether it will adhere to this buying channel on the way up. That's what we want to be looking out for. So otherwise, if we form an inverse cup and handle here, maybe some support here, and we continue to head down here, this will be another area of support that we want to be taking calls. Once again, quick profits if possible, right? And this point in time like this, right? If this continues to break down, then we have this very strong neckline that we have been trying to break through. This is the bottom of our trading range, right? And we have been trying to test it for several days. And whether we'll test it today or tomorrow, uh, we'll see whether this move materializes. Now, otherwise, we want to also see if this forms shoulder here and this becomes a weak zone here to bring us down. Now we have a new neckline here at 410, right? And this is our support level. So you have to understand when we see structure like this, we know that this is a strong support level. When we have a strong support level, we want to understand how the sellers are going to build strength in order to test and break through this. So there are many ways they can do this. So head and shoulder, possibly cup and handle. Now, if not, we also understand that there is a buying channel and that we also want to see where the bulls can break us through this level right here because they had difficulty yesterday and this is not a great bull flag. This is not, as I explained earlier. So the bulls will have to gather more strength somewhere. Now, if we open above here, right, just like how yesterday we opened above the structure, right? Yesterday, we had a head and shoulder structure. We wanted to look out for the selling channel, remember? And we broke out straight out of it off a very strong support. Now, if that happens, then go ahead. That may be a possible play because we are still in a buying channel. So we want to be looking out for this orange level 414. This should be quite an important level here. And for the queues, this was a very good risk reward setup as I explained earlier, right? Whether it's your partial profits or your planned profit target here, right? It's just a very good risk reward because we have a top of the channel here and we have a theory whether this rally is going to be sustained, whether it's sustainable, because if it's not, it's going to head down very quickly and we will receive feedback within a day 
on this trade and that's one less day on your options expiry so if you have quick feedback this is the best time to be taking options trade and this is why we decided hey i'm going to take some puts here right so if it truly happens that we go one way down because this is not sustainable but before that remember to take your partial profits and always protect your trade so once queues come to this level here it's stress-free you take your profits this trade is protected now you no longer have to worry about this trade and there's a potential you can see this within a day right so it's a good trade even though there is some risk involved and what we want to be looking out for that on the queues and it's this that whether this is sustained right if not we will head back to form a right shoulder now, there's a reason why it was flagging right here so this is what we want to be possibly planning for now if this doesn't materialize that's fine see if you have the ability to take quick profits early and protect this trade so you see this is how we plan trades for spy once again orange level very important i'll use the 30 minute trend line chart x explanation but it's all also in the five minute chart here now on the macro channel again right we are coming to this very very strong congested area at this level here now we are still congested here right so if there is going to be more strength the buyers will have to build on and we can see that it's possible that they're building on this support level here right this is that buying channel that we're talking about right here now if they do continue to base here there is this possibility right that we may continue to build up slowly but still we are still in this range if you can observe this same range that we were before the CPI report back then. The exact same way, right? So we have to be looking out for this next Wednesday as well. So prepare till then. And once you see the trading range, it makes so much more sense, right? So understand this, know how to trade from this, know the current market context. The market is indecisive, right? The volume is not great. I can tell you for sure, this is not big money volume, not yet. So this is not a sustained rally not yet anyway so we have to wait till wednesday at least for more guidance if a rally is going to be sustained so up to this point don't be too concerned about this this is explained right fomc provide us some guidance there is a hard resistance here which i mentioned because we saw that coming so this rally would most likely stop here until another catalyst which is the cpi report here Will we push up yeah absolutely possible if we follow the buying channel but when that happens you have to be careful because it could be a trap and that's what we want to be looking out for the cues today because this could be a trap right so if this is a stop hunt just imagine that we start engulf today and we form a right shoulder and you manage to get into that good risk reward right and i explained how to get into this trade here yesterday we tried to get in Right, and try to see if we can get some partial profits to protect this trade as soon as possible with a plan of this risk reward structure right here so once you have some sort of market context once you have some sort of trading ranges once you can understand uh, the motivations of the bulls and the bears and you see you have good levels here right that you can base off some trades in it's not a problem right otherwise there's always a trade to take look just one day we have eight good trades that we can possibly take and we see and this is just what i see right you probably see more than this but the truth is just take three to five quality trades a day that's more than enough right you don't want to be trading all eight just three to five it's good enough you can make a few hundred few thousand dollars a day it's no problem right so let's see how this turns out later thank you very much for watching see you closer to opening bell thank you very much